defence needs our support, national security and economic security go hand in hand, and our economic plan enables us to go on investing in our nation's defences. You know, and this submarine represents Britain's ultimate insurance policy. Now, there are some who would throw that away. I say in a more uncertain and a more dangerous world, Britain needs to take all the steps to keep us free and secure, and that's what we're doing today. Opposition parties are saying that uh, today's announcement means that you will press ahead with a replacement for Trident. How do you see it? Well, we are committed to replacing Britain's nuclear deterrent because these submarines represent our ultimate insurance policy. And we've got to make a decision now to keep our country safe in the 2030s, the 2050s, the 2060s, a long time hence. And in a dangerous and uncertain world, we've got to take those steps. There's always been a consensus amongst the mainstream political parties that that's the right step to take. Now you've got this alliance of Labour left-wingers and the nationalists who want to break that consensus, but I don't think that's the sensible step to take. I don't think that's the right way to keep our country secure and safe in the future.